<laughs> I can do it. Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sugar Roller Skates. And I'm here today to do a little tutorial for you on some straight line footwork. My last video, we had it in a circle. We're gonna unwind that and put it on the straightaways, okay? Up and down the straightaways, this is straight line footwork. Listen, you're gonna learn a ton in this video because we've got transitions we've got forward skating backward skating a little bit of footwork so stick with me even if you're a beginner skater no problem we're about planting seeds here so if it looks like hmm dirty I cannot do that that is not for me well yes it is I'm here to inform you yes it is we're here to plant seeds and water them and with enough practice you're gonna be able to do it okay you with me? Today's video is brought to you by Wicked Skatewear. Wicked Skatewear is located in Huntington Beach. But if you're not located in HB, no problem. Go online. WickedSkatewear.com has everything you could possibly need. Okay? They got skates, plates, wheels, bearings, all sorts of apparel. Okay? Do me a favor. Get online. Peruse. Shop. Buy yourself something. You deserve it. All right, skaters, let's get ready to do some straight line footwork. All right, in the spirit of tell them, tell them what you told them. No, how's it go? In the spirit of tell them what you're gonna tell them, tell them, tell them what you told them, right? For those people who've ever written an essay, this is how we're gonna do it, okay? I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do, and this is it. This is your straightaway. It's going to be step, turn, cross, under, mm, 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 mm. left foot, right foot, cross, step, under, flow it around. All right, we got to break this down. Obviously, there's a ton of stuff going on right there, right? Can't expect you to just see it and be like, boom, I got it. But remember in the last video, it's what we did when we were doing this in a circle. We were doing this in a circle. So if you have been practicing this circle, we can take this and go straight down. Weight is on your left foot. You are going to let the right trail behind. Now listen, if you don't want to go in my direction and you're like dirty, I don't skate clockwise. That is some craziness. I skate counter. Well, honey, all you have to do is reverse everything I say. If I say put weight on your left, then put weight on your right, okay? Just opposite. We can do this. I have faith in you, okay? Let's do this. Skating forward. My objective is to keep this in a straight line. Weight is on your left foot, right foot trails behind. I look behind me, drop right foot, left foot comes across and down. I step out, under. Okay, let's do it again. Weight's on the left foot, right trails behind. Look over, drop your body weight. Left foot goes over the front, weight is on the left foot, lift right, turn, step down. The easiest way that you can keep this in a straight line is with your head, okay? I'm going to break it down even further. Let's just do the like little pieces of this. It's important if you're going to skate in a straight line and you want to keep it in a straight line that you act like you are literally in a tight hallway okay there's not big expression of the body movements out and about to make it wide we're thinking i might be at the rink i might be on the boardwalk i've got a limited amount of space i'm going to do something fabulous but it's going to be tight okay so i'm skating i put weight on the left i'm looking forward right trails behind i turn my head reach back with my right arm so that i can just sort of rainbow over and drop it down you'll see my left foot is riding on the front inside wheel it's going to go to the front cross over lift up my hip of my right foot step it down come under and pull it all the way around to start the sequence again. Okay, 
So, as always, I think everything's important. Every little bit of this is muy importante. Right? I always think that. But it's kind of true. So we'll break it down again from the very beginning. And I'll shout out all the important parts. When you're skating forward and you need to skate on one foot because we got to skate on one foot going forward, you got to put weight on it. Okay, so when I skate forward and I know I'm going to, see how I wind up? I'm like, I know I'm going to do something, okay? I drop my body weight down. That means this part of my body is over the top. This one's already trailing. And I come up and over, drop the body weight down. Foot comes in the front. When your foot comes in the front, you guys, this is really important. I'll do it this way. I'm riding on my front truck. I bring it forward and I take the heel and go bring, and that's going to drop it right down. For some of you, you're going to be like, I ain't crossing my feet like that. I'm going to trip myself and fall. Not. If when you raise your foot or move your foot, do it with your hip, bring your hip up a little bit, bring your forward, bring the foot forward, riding on the front truck and bring that heel in to cross. Okay. So let's look at it again. We go down, trail back, look behind you. I'm on the front truck. It goes forward, heel cross. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm squeezing real tight right here. I'm squeezing as if my life depended on it. My, um, and mm-hmm, they're like, mm, like super, super tight. It has to be, people. Don't give me noodle legs. I need you to look tight, tight, tight. That will hold your rolling position, okay? Give it to me, ready? We go left down, look over right, Roll it forward, cross, tighten up, step out of it, step under. All right. You know I've done videos where we do this and we step under with no problem. You guys, watch that video, I'll link it below. But again, with the tightness of the thighs and everything down below from the waist, it has to happen when you cross under it has to be super tight the minute the second that the back of the thigh hits the front of the thigh release okay release you don't want to hold it too long okay let me do it again left over to right roll forward left cross i'm looking step under now you this is the fun part you're like yes and re Heat. Okay. Now, oftentimes I do this where I'm coming forward to you and you're like, that's great, Dirty, but we'd really like to follow you. We would like to see the behind section as you skate away so we can watch the video and follow you. So why don't we do it that way? Okay. The behind view. Ready? Left, right, cross, step, under, out, cross, step, under, out, cross, step, under, out, cross, step, under, out, and cross, step, under, out, and cross, step, under, out, and cross. In order to keep you in a straight line, again, tight hallway, I want to see arms. If I stretch my arms like this when I'm moving about, I promise you that will keep you in a straighter line. I'm looking where I want to go. Now I turn my head and I go straight to it. Then I cross and then I look and swing under. Okay? So, as there are many important things in this video, upper body is really important, okay? I know I've said this in a bunch of other videos, but where you look is where the body wants to go. And when you look, it can't be casual. We're doing this fast. This is a lot of footwork. You can't be like this. Like you're gonna turn. You can't be like, <laughs> this kind of like coy. I'm gonna look over my shoulder, let's say, and be like, <laughs> it can't be. As I've said before, you got to act like the person behind you is someone you haven't seen in a long time. Perhaps they owe you money 
and you're like, oh, there you are, right? Okay, you haven't seen this person in a long time. I need you to turn your head with some semblance of authority and intent. Come here. So we're skating along here. I go like this, turn. I am looking directly. You see, I'm looking over this shoulder and my foot's right there. I've got this nice line. I'm looking there so it's real easy for my body to meet my eye line. That is so important. The other part I want you to remember is your body weight is down when you're carrying an edge. You want to do different stuff? Get your body weight up. So last thing, hang in there. I want to show you this. I'm going to exaggerate the body up, body down, body up, body down. No, body down, body up, okay? I'm going to exaggerate for you. All right, so I'm skating along and I'm down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, okay? You guys, things we have to remember. Number one, watch the video from last week. I'll link it below. Watch the video on backstepping. I'll link it below. Think a lot about your body posture. Remember that you're skating in a very tight and narrow place. Think a tight hallway. With enough practice, this is gonna look good. It's gonna look stylish, but it's not gonna come right away. A suggestion on how to practice, do it with a friend. Call out the steps together, okay? You guys will have more fun. You'll keep it light and a little humorous and you can, you know, pump each other up. All right, skaters, that's what I've got for you today and I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you get the notifications when the new videos come out. And I will see you next time. Now your job is to go practice.